guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Let's Play as Parthia in Rome Total War Remastered. And it's going well. Look at our great empire now. It's it's pretty big. Um, I'd probably say like a third of the map. Don't actually know how many regions we have. Um, probably should check that. 15 battles lost. A lot of those battles that we couldn't win. And quite a few of them sea battles. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. Top five factions. Um, we are quite far ahead. Military ranking, uh, you know. Scipio is doing well, so it's going to be a bit of a battle with them. Germania as well, and the Britons, and Julii. So Brutii are just not there anymore. Let's see, look at that. Look, that, that's, that is what we have done to them. Oh my days, that is brutal. Yeah, just better. Territory coming up on 48. So about 47, 46, something like that. But yeah, we're doing well. Um, I have tried to record this video twice. Both times we've had problems with uh, frames dropping. So I do apologize if you experienced any frames dropping last episode. Um, but I'm hoping it's fixed. Touch wood, it's fixed now. So yeah, let's get going anyway. We're doing pretty nicely Fire! smashing everyone i mean it, uh, yeah we're, we're op we got horse archers we're op but germania definitely wants to come and play like look at this thing is though a lot of their own a lot of their armors a lot of their troops have like no armor so that's gonna be fine but i'm fully expecting us to have an interesting battle here in a second i'll show you why oh, i forgot to put these guys in their little places oh well Oh, well, this, this has happened, I don't know whether this is a bug, this has happened every time I've tried to record this episode, I've recorded it twice already, not the whole episode, I recorded 10 minutes the first one and about 7-8 minutes on the second one, I mean that gives you an idea of how long this battle's going to last, <laughs> I guess, so it's worth not very long. But I, I really don't understand. Like, there is no logical reason for this battle to occur. Like, are they mad? Like, what's going on? I'll keep them on skirmish just in case I misclick or something. I'll do that. Leave them to, to get fighting. I'll leave them to get fighting. As in, leave them to get hit by the... Uh, oh, you want to turn? That is no problem of mine, my friend. If anything, come this way. Yeah, shoot them in the back. That's what we like to see. And he's dead. Uh, all dead? Yeah. Dumb, dumbest battle. So yeah, we'll be, uh, we lost nine for friendly fire. That's... Fucking annoying. And we only got one experience. Yeah, look at that friendly fire. Oh well. Oh well. That'd be an awkward one. Explaining to their parent. How did he die? Oh. Uh, in this battle, we didn't take any casualties. But how did he die then? Um, yeah, one of his mates shot him. No one liked him. <laughs> oh, go on, Dacia. Ah, stop being a prick. Kill my bloody merchant. Right. Hello there. Dacian army. We did have this battle as well in the first time I tried to record. Um, I think we're going to use a similar tactic. Well, that was it. That was where we got to. The end, the end of this battle. Um... Problem with this is it's quite small map, uh, quite hard to maneuver. Let's see, look at this. Um, archers. I don't know why they say archers and not archers, but they say, at least the horse archers say horse archers. We will split them. Two little groups. Um, in general, see, look how small this map is. That's the red line there. 
I think last time we put the archers like here, but it didn't make a difference. If anything, it just got them killed. Hello, beef Dacians, come and fight us. You do what you want, Dacia, but come across the bridge and we will shoot you to pieces. Come on, hurry up. <coughs> I haven't got all day. I mean, technically. Right, this is where we move. Do that. Do that. Get skirmish mode off. I think this one we don't want to have skirmish mode. They're sending in the chosen swordsman first. It's actually a good idea because... These guys do have armor. Wait, can I just click off? Ah. Uh, there we are. Chosen swordsman. Defense skill. Armor of seven. So it's definitely a lot better. It's a bit weird though, this um, missile attack of nine on these guys. 11 on these guys. Ah, it's, experience is so powerful in this game. So much more powerful than the um, third age total war that I've been playing a lot as well as my Isengard campaign. But that's because um, in that game, experience, you only get a bonus from experience every three rather than every single one. Which, I don't know, both systems make sense to me. I like both systems. I mean, with it them gaining experience, g gaining uh, you know potency after every single experience, it is brutally OP. Like once you get experienced armies, but at the same time, like there is a reason to get experience. Like some of the newer Total Wars, where you don't get anything from experience, it's just like pointless. Like surely you would get something, at least morale. I think, you know, combat effectiveness, definitely from experience. Um, but I don't know, the way to combat is, uh, I guess the way they do it is by just making it every three experience rather than every, um, rather than every one that you get a bonus, which is okay, but there's still like kind of cases where you think, Oh well, like that that unit would be much more powerful than that um, if it was that experienced. But at the same time, it's kind of combating that ease of getting experience that you find in this game. But then again, we haven't really uh, got that much experience quite e easily in this in this uh, in this campaign. Like, there's none of our we have no gold units yet. Like, literally none. We've been playing for 60 turns. And that's uh, that's probably because we've been winning battles so easily. Oh, there's a bit of experience. That's nice. Get here if you can. Oh, hey. <laughs> you fool. I cannot believe... The general, I know he's only barbarian cavalry, got killed by horse archers in melee. You are shockingly bad. I'm sorry, my friend. What the hell? Why? This is just a messy battle. I don't, I don't like it. Too messy. Too messy. Get out. Just so messy. Don't want those Sarmatians to charge us because they are actually really good. chasers ah get out why do you run forward to run backwards I guess horses do need to do that but it's kind of annoying um, do we just clean the rest of them up with our with our generals I think we do we have our faction leader Dadaho or is he our faction leader? I can't remember Dadayabahu of Saravana easy for me to say um Come on then. Get going. 
don't think we're going to do 85. We might do. Uh, no, actually, don't do that. Ooh, yo, that is very close. Let's get there. Hmm. Get those archers. I don't care for them that much. Stupid general charging us. <laughs> Killed by the pajama boys. Come on, pajama boys. Fire. Yeah, we are just OP now. And like, this is a not experienced army. So, I, oh, I've never really known how experience gets calculated that well. Do you know what? We will come down this way. This is the big charge of the Eastern General. Wow. Just shredding them to pieces. They're all withdrawing now. Get in there. I think we'll get 85. Speed up. Come on, hurry up. Is that 85 yet? Close. Well, I mean, it is 85, but I'll, we'll just be safe. <laughs> Yes, we have won the battle. We lost nine, but actually we lost lost twenty three. Got quite a bit of experience. Four four bits of experience for the horse archers. That is good. That is fantastic. Yeah. Okay. No brains dropped yet. Fingers crossed, guys. It's not as bad a viewing experience as last episode. Stupid Dacia. This is only end turn as well. We're already thirteen minutes into the video. We've just done end turn. Yes. Go on, get some iron, my friend. We need iron for all those arrowheads. What actually are arrowheads made out of? Iron or steel? Back back these days, I don't actually know. We get counselor's chamber there. Rival merchant, don't care. Thuxtra the Conqueror. Thuxtra is a bit of a beast. I do like them. I do like him. We we're gonna chill here for three turns. But I, do we, I don't know. Do we need to? Would quite like to be able to get another horse archer, but I'm not gonna. It's gonna have different armor and that. We haven't even got fully armor and weaponized horse archers yet, uh, which is crazy, really. Right, Susa, let's get our building done. I'm sure this is the most interesting part of the video for all you guys. Um, Attack Sata, yeah, build that. I actually, <laughs> sounds so weird, but when I watch Let's Plays of these games, I actually prefer the uh, the, the campaign map stuff than the battles. But that is me. That is me being weird. I even prefer doing the campaign map stuff rather than the battles. Um, in a lot of cases. Campus, it depends how long the campaign is. Like, short ca short campaign, no, that's all fine. Uh, but, like, a long, long campaign, you know, as you can see, the battles do become quite similar. Especially with each faction having its own specific sort of way of playing, if you play it right. I mean, you can play, you could play these guys differently. You could get an army full of hillmen and cataphracts, but you'd be a fucking lunatic. Like, <laughs> If you want to win the, like, obviously, yeah, you could, but who wants to slog through Roman legions with Hillman? Not me. Not me, my friends. Not me. I'm sorry to anyone out there who's watching this video who, uh, <laughs> has done that. <laughs> um, but I'm sorry. Don't do it. <laughs> Run your horse archers instead. Get the big horse archers there. I mean, they are the most important weapon you have. If you're the Romans, that's when you slog with infantry. Because their infantry is just OP as fuck. Uh, large temple of Zoroastra. Hmm. Yeah, large city already. It doesn't matter what we build here. We, 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 the, the thing is, at the minute, we're expanding so quickly that it really doesn't matter how we upgrade the... Um, cities behind us because we're never going to be retreating to them probably. I mean with the amount of armies we have now it's probably enough well, it definitely is enough to take over the whole world. Easy. Ah uh, hello 
Ah, Brutei. Oh, post Mario Munari. Now, post Fiori. Seven armor, same as the Royal Pikeman and the Chosen Swordsman, actually. Uh, the dogs are just a fucking nightmare. They love recruiting them. I Why? Stop recruiting dogs. Stupid. Stupid Romans. Right. You had a fantastic time beating those guys back. Gonna have a fantastic time exterminating this city. It's horrible, isn't it? This is genuinely what used to happen back in the day, guys. Extermination after extermination. Genghis Khan was a notoriously ruthless guy for that. He loved it. I'm not saying he loved it. He might not have loved it, but... He, uh, yeah, he relished in the uh, the violence, it seemed. I mean, you've moved for us, have you? Ah, that's nice of you. Uh, we were sending you up to deal with Germania. You would be able to deal with all three of these armies all together at once, most likely. Actually, maybe not, because you don't, guys don't have much ammo. You are just here to kill chips. I relish the violence. Right, let's go. You need to get up to get everyone out of Sardis. If we can. Do we have enough for two armies at the minute? I don't think so. We're gonna get a nice melee army as well. We'll get to see some of these troops in some melee action, guys. Which uh, has kind of been missing, really. But that's how you play Parky. You don't take melee <laughs> unless you're mad. Um, Syracuse, let's go for you. Syracuse, Syracuse. Bloody hell. Why does the AI in this game love recruiting merchants? Because they're just everywhere. Um, hello. Hello. We could assault now. Is it wooden war? You know what? We'll do it. But first of all, let's take out you. You think you are balance uh, uh, balance of power uh, yeah that's why I couldn't think of the word for balance of power then because I said balanced it's like you balanced balance power balance no um, they're doing alright they think it's balanced the only thing that's balanced about their army is their dogs which are just annoying <laughs> I remember that episode where we fought the Scythians. Okay. All you boys can just like sit right at the back. And especially those cataphracts. We need to find somewhere to, to retrain those boys. Or even send them back. They are beautiful though. Look at these boys. Look at them. They do look amazing. Almost as good. As you greet an archer. No, I'm joking. No, shite. Uh, pajama boys. Ah, oh, different design of pajama though. Nah, this is actually. I, I quite like this. Well, I'm sorry. We, yeah, there's a battle to fight. I know. I know. I know. But. It's kind of fun. But look at the Eastern General though. The Eastern General is amazing. Oh no. Are we not the Eastern Armored General yet? When were the Eastern Armored. When did we become the Eastern Armored General? Is that when we get a full... Oh yeah, you need to go there. This is Fariel. Fariel the Conqueror. Time to kill many Romans. Um, do we get the armoured one when we get the highest tier of blacksmith? I think we do, but I don't even know when we've got a huge city yet. I mean... I'll, I know we do. Memphis or Thebes. I can't remember. Memphis, Tennessee or Thebes... Can they remember? Come on, horses. I know it's a hill, but you can do it. Keep on two speed. I don't believe we need anything other than two speeds. Okay, so they charge. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, go back. Cat and mouse time. Who's firing at us? Or is that our own troops? 
I don't like this position. Come around this way if we can. Yes. Yes. Shoot them in the back. I like running side onto them because... Shoots them nice. They, they've realized that they have to charge us now. Like, it's the right tactic, Romans, but... It's unfortunately, if this was the AI, AI if, if the roles were reversed, it would be, the AI say, isn't going to do tactics like this though, that's the, that's the one thing. But the, you probably would be able to beat this army if you were the Romans and uh, this was the AI. Probably, I say probably, depends on what the AI decides to do, whether it decides to be mental or not. Do we, do they, are you going to shoot the dogs or what? I, that's one thing I don't understand. They don't, they don't like shooting the dogs. Right, you get into them. The rest of you guys, we don't want to have to deal with those dogs. They're just ruthless. Look at them go. They're absolutely destroying my troops. And they keep going through the troops. Yeah, they're going to run. I knew we needed to sacrifice someone. Because the dogs, they're just, ah, the a bane. Absolute pain. Get up here on the high ground. We like shooting down from the high ground. Some power. Let's get across if we can. Look at them go. They're just so annoying. Go away. All you want to do is just eat my poor horses. And I can't accept that. Like my horse, like how do you even kill them? If you can't shoot them, what do you do? Ah, they, they dumb, they dumb, the dumbest, dumbest part of this game. Nah, actually, this, the yeah, the dumbest part of the game is probably the uh, the city scripting, uh, city scripting, not scripting. Oh my god, they're all just breaking from uh, from the size of the. Uh, the f overwhelming force and everyone else is breaking uh, oh, oh that was just brutal right we'll leave now because we don't want the dogs killing anymore and we've killed 85 percent killed a hundred that's not good a lot of sustained casualties there i'm assuming mainly from the charges at the end and the dogs but as we say with the horse archers the best thing about them is the fact that they can get retrained anywhere, nearly anywhere, just anywhere that's a town and has a single stables. Anywhere. Um, if we kill you, can we kill you? That is the question. What? Fuck me. That was stupid. <laughs> you fools. Velite! Gladiators! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Fruity, I have been smoking some serious crack. That's all I can say. Serious. A serious amount of crack. You know what's good? What, what's a good defensive unit for Croton? Two units of Velite, Gladiators, bro. Fucking lunatics. But then again, it is the AI. I don't think we'll fully understand. Even when an AI becomes clever, I don't think we'll understand its cleverness. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Quote that in the comments, guys. Quote that in the comments. It makes no fucking sense. What I meant to say is, I don't think we'll understand its way of thinking. Because it's so analytical and logical. Um, unlike humans, we're so emotional. Wow, look how big the uh, the area is massive compared to the area of the other guys. You know, they have no missile troops and I'm not I don't think that will reach us, so I'm not really worried. We only have one cataphract. It's actually not great. We only have uh, we do only have one general though. So I guess you're a substitute for a general. Hillman, don't need you. Don't want you, don't need you, whatever. I don't think the Velites have 
javelins. War elephant. Are you getting shot by these guys or not? Oh, I just want to check. Are you shooting? No. Could you attack that? No, I don't think so. I think we only need elephants for this, I'm not going to lie. Whoa! Brute! Like this music. It's so nostalgic, this music, though. I, when I was coming onto this game before, it's just like... The um, the music in the in the title in the title sequence the is so ridiculously nostalgic. Uh, well, how do we get here? Come on, Ellie's! No, 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 no! You going wrong way, boy? Right, let's go. Charge of the Heffalumps. Let's go. Poor guys. You know, oh my god, they do look mean though. That is the one thing. They do look mean. Do you know what would be a nice little detail on these guys? Would be like any of the gladiator units. Oh, they've spread out so that the charge isn't as bad. Actually, doing okay against my elephants. Okay, one's got exploded. It. They're not dying in droves like I thought they would. Just run through these boys. I don't care. Run through them, please. Um. I do we want to risk the elephants? I don't think we do anymore, to be honest. Uh, would be if they were all from different areas. Like if you had some, you know, because like, they all look Roman right now like Italian so if you had like uh, North Africans Iranians I guess they haven't expanded that far yet so uh, it'd be an interesting little a nice little detail oh, it's, oh, this, is, this is shite what am I doing just get the general in here they, they can't charge these boys because they're too spread out I'm not devastating them just as badly as they should do like, look at that. Come on, charge! You're so slow! Yeah, no, we're just going to lose these boys. Charge through them! That is not a charge! Why do you stop your charge? If we charge them from both directions, I guess. You're slower than the people running. You're supposed to be fast, bro. Okay, that's better. The actual proper charge. Okay, that's that's done. That's done some damage. That one's good. Come on, general. And you know you want to get in on the action. I'm also worried about friendly fire here. Like we could actually sh end up shooting ourselves. Get up there, boys. And we'll do another large charge large charge come on me boys what's it shit what's that why have you re really done that what's that from I've forgotten Get in there. Come on, get out of there. What's this? Proconsul's Palace. It's pretty swanky. It's got a moat and everything. Ah, Romans. But this battle's taking longer than the other ones. <laughs> What's going on here? They're just killing... Like, their killing power on these boys has been really rubbish because they're not all together. And they're actually... I don't know where they have more than one hit point, you know? Yeah, they have two hit points. That's why. What am I doing? Shouldn't have put my elephants against these boys. Now go and take a rest. And I hope none of you die. <laughs> that would be annoying. After so long, none of you die. Uh, of you not dying. I think now all uh, all their first hit points should be gone. They have they have no armor. So, are you gonna charge or what? 
Can't wait till we get our armor general. He's so much better. Do they count as spearmen? Not bad about losing the general's bodyguard units. We just got a charge though. <laughs> this is taking ages as well. There's two units of Velotes. I should have just sent in the horse archers. What am I doing? Nice. Yeah, we just really need to charge them. Come on. There we are. Oh my god. I took a while. <laughs> we lost six. Hopefully, old general's bodyguard. Yeah, no elephants. Ah, it's because they had two hit points, but we did see in that other battle how brutal the elephants can be to like thick formations like Hastati and Princopes. You just got to be wary of their bloody. Um, Oh my god, they're still unhappy. There you go. At least they've got good stables, though. Uh, we've got, just, just got to be wary of these guys' javelins. Right, let's get them happy again. Do you want to worship a proper god? Zoroastra, please? Get you. We don't need to retrain anyone. We can retrain these guys here as well. Good. Get some peasants and we'll move on to Torrentum. How have we got two new merchants? I, I don't no. care. <laughs> I promise you, I don't care about merchants. Apparently, potential merchant income is zero of silver. I really don't know how, but whatever. Ooh, you can scout for me. Let's have a look at Rome. Let's get a retium. Uh, Rome doesn't look exactly defended that much. I don't know what happens. Do, if you destroy the SPQR, do the other families, like... Does the Senate be destroyed as well? Uh, the other families not get missions and stuff? I do may know, actually. Oh yeah, we need to retrain these boys. All of them, if we can. And we'll get two more armies from there. Now you, yeah, you're moving. Your Tylus. I think we're all good. I think we are jolly good. It's gonna take two. Oh my god, it's only been one turn this whole episode. Oh god, I forgot to move south, guys. Let us now talk reasonably. They'll give us fifty-three thousand for ceasefire. I mean. No, Until but next time, it's tempting. Our patience is limited. If you give us, they can't give us. They can't give us a region. So that is their last region. That's the first Roman faction. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see what you want, Germania. You want me to bring the pain into you? Wow, wow, wow. Adonable. Adonable! Rioting and... Oh, Thebes! Wow. 39%! Keep taking Mick. Don't like it goes red. when Because we are able to, to sort that out, aren't we? A lot of town grows. Halicarnassus. Cool. Sidon expanded. Cool. Palmyra, nice one. That's good. More family members. We've got about 5 million at this point. Campus Sarkai. Uh, none of this matters. Prasper. Yeah, Law. Tarsus. Yep. Sardis. Hmm. You want this? I mean, it's just the same, though. Mascara, yeah, I'm just building whatever you can. Campus Getai, get the law. 
sperm on. Go for law. <laughs> Common theme, law. I mean, it's our primary public happiness apart from our temples. So, I mean, we can go for growth. Um, and law is good. It gets you money and... I mean, it doesn't directly get you money. It directly reduces the amount of money that you're losing to corruption. So you get money, and on top of that, uh, you make them happy. So it's a double bubble, really. Temple of Zoroastra. God, we really exterminated Croton, didn't we? Wow. Sorry, Croton. Sorry, Croutons. I mean, I don't think we need to do that. I don't know what's in here, though. Faction leader, so, oh, war dogs. I don't want to deal with the war dogs. Oh, Jesus. Go daily games to make them happy. They're so unhappy. Distant capsule squalor, culture penalty. And unrest. Is there a culture penalty in this game? Well, there obviously is. But. Oh, and details. Where do you find out that culture? I know I've seen it before, but... Oh, yeah, no, sorry. It's culture penalty from the buildings. Yeah. I don't know why it's been silly. It's because I've been playing a lot of Third Age. Right then, Skippy Eye. Oh, they're plagued. You are plagued. We'll go for a non-plagued. Don't think I can reach there now. Oh, well. In there, some horses and that. Ah, I don't want to do siege battles with these armies. Yeah, I really don't want to do siege battles with these armies. Sorry, guys, just one second. Alright, man. Yeah, I did about the answer. Right. Yeah, I've just got I've just got a notification for that. Yeah, so I'm not sure why it's not matching. I'm, maybe it's the name. I, I'm pretty sure I put I got the name on it across the ladder, but yeah, it might be the name. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, so that's because it was last Friday as well, wasn't it? So I just put it in there. Well, no, I didn't put it last Friday, but it was. Right guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, I, I want to be aggressive. I probably and I should be aggressive. 
like genuinely I should you're nearly ready to go Tyler's like these armies can't be aggressive because it's, it's a lot lot harder to deal with a big army inside well, that's not big it's Royal Guard though what are you how long five turns <sighs> Yeah, these siege battles though with these these armies they're, they're, they're horrible <laughs> they're genuinely horrible it's such a micromanagement nightmare um, I think this battle is the best one to take next because it's a field battle it's fun siege battles are fun they're fun defending siege battles especially if you're like Greeks or something like that or Macedon whatever uh, if you're yeah, if you're um, Parthia, siege battles are not fun. Like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not. <laughs> and as I was saying before, like I said at the start, like, what are you doing getting an army of Hillmen? But genuinely at this point, I can understand why you would want half your army to be Hillmen. Just because of siege battles. <laughs> but, uh, oh yes, we've got them crushed up against the, uh, the sea. Oh, this is a tiny battle map. I think... So we attack them. They, their other army should be coming from the left. So let's put all our scrap troops to the right. When I say scrap troops, it's the cataphracts and these boys. Um, general, you can go in the middle and respond. You can go over there and respond to whatever happens. Actually, it doesn't look like that many. From up here, it doesn't look like that many horse archers. Hey, look at that. Hello. Oh God, that's not very easy to see. Also, I'd like to draw them away from the uh, from the side, ideally. But we might as well go shoot them. It's the blue guys, it's the Scipii, who we want to kill in their entirety. And oh no, it's their general's just Equites. They'll be reasonably quick, though. I think the Equites are fast-moving, just like us like our horse archers right we'll bring um, a general face across here do any melee that he needs to um, yep yeah, let's go take you off that come on let's go let's go let's go oh wow you are a coward, sir. One thing uh, that's really, really clear in this game, overwhelming numbers is incredibly strong as a morale debuff for the, for the enemy. Like, genuinely incredibly strong. Like, look at this. Like, they could rip through one of my guys in melee if they wanted to. I mean, it's, there is like 20 guys, but <laughs> they could rip through one easy. Also, I'm a bit worried about these guys because not sure we'll have enough to kill 85% of these boys. They were the cavalry units though, which is always good. Um, it's better if the cavalry units run away and, and uh, are hard to deal with. Yeah, I just don't want to get charged by that Roman general, that's all. I'm not bothered about. Not bothered about them in the slightest. I'm sure we'll beat them. Out of all the generals, the Roman armor general's really good, but I, I think the Eastern armor general's just as good, surely. Are you withdrawing? Ah! Dickhead! Well, at least kill all the blue guys. Let's go there. Kill the blue! Yeah, he's got a wild. Getting there, I think. Roman general. Oh, Triario, our spearman. We should probably not, not worry about that too much. Let's get the Principes. Get there if you can. Uh, there you go. Come on, let's go. I don't want you to die, my friend. Fariel the Conqueror. Oh, God, I thought that's good. Thought that was our another enemy general killed by the pajama boys. That's crazy. Actually, okay in melee then, like. So, oh no, 
Titans in general. One armor, which is from the armor upgrades. Melee attacks five, which isn't good, but it's okay. I guess they were st uh, they're still getting shot. I'm going to continue and finish these guys off. Also, we'll run away because we don't want to shoot our own troops. Which always happens. Although it is a general. I just don't want to lose a general to friendly fire. That would be even more awkward than losing loads of troops to friendly fire. Ah, well. Nice one. Easy. Easy mode. Genuinely, if you can get over the... Um, if you can get over the economic barriers... Oh, uh, what? I was sure the blue guys would be dead. Fucking equites. Pricks. Thinking is so fast and special. If you're not special and you're not fast, you're just shit. Okay? We all moved. Hmm. Right, we have a lot of battles to do. So we've got to we'll sally out here, try and kill as many as we can, and then retreat. Same here. We've got to take Tylus. Uh, Apollonia we can't do. We've got to take Tarentum and we've got to take Masana. Well, that's all going to be at the start of next episode, guys. Oh, yeah. We, and we've got to fight here. So, I look forward to that. That's going to be crazy, really. A crazy start to the episode. Actually, I'm going to attack this guy. And uh, I think we're going to end the episode there, guys. Because... We've got about five battles to do in this episode. If I start doing half and half battles in turns, I'm going to be... My head's going to be gone. I'm not going to be able to remember. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, subscribe. A few of you are watching this regularly now, so please do like the videos that, that you enjoy. Do comment as well any suggestions, anything you don't like, anything you do like. That would be brilliant. We're trying to grow, so keep it coming, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.